Now we want to get into adding your HTML and CSS into the WordPress environment. Uh, let's go over here back into our horse world page, the world of horses. And, you know, we dropped in some fake text, you know, added some H1 tags, but these, t these two little icons that will show up right here, this is a universal setting, no matter what theme you have, you have your visual option, then you have your text option. And if you click your text option, that's where you can actually add, see, and edit your HTML tags. Notice we put in the heading one tag in there, and here it is, H1, we open the HTML, we close the H1 tag here. And, and notice we added the bold, we added, we added some bold text, and here's the HTML for that. The EM tag for emphasis added with the strong tag, we open it and close it. I tell you what, uh, uh, for those of you that have edited or created sites in Dreamweaver and you know some HTML and you know some CSS, you know exactly what I'm talking about. For folks that are new to web development, you really want to get in. If, if you want full control of your web pages, you want to know some HTML and CSS. Uh, and those are covered over in, the, in our Dreamweaver members portion of the series. For you members, just go over there and you can look at the CSS and some HTML5. Uh, but but it's, it's fairly simple. You just go in here and put in any HTML or CSS that you want right here within the, the document. Um, and uh, this portion of WordPress ignores white space. So um, you'll see me going in and out, going from visual to text, uh, visual, so you can see what your text is looking like into the text, which should say code, so that you can see your code. And not only can you add HTML and CSS into this portion of WordPress, but you can throw in your iframes for videos, which is, you know, that, yeah, sure, that's HTML, but also your JavaScript can go in here also. So that's how you can come in. These tags up, up here are, are uh, you know, like you have your image tag, your list tags, your unordered list tags, your link tags, bold, italicize. Those are some standard HTML tags that can be used in here. Um, if you're a developer and working on sites for other people, your HTML skills and your CSS skills are essential. There you go.